what lifestyle or what dynamic of living the Christian life will yield holiness or love? Radical, risk taking, countercultural, counterintuitive, free, sacrificial love that lays down your life on the mission field or in Phillips' neighborhood or in Moundsview. What is it? Every one of these texts has said, to use my language, faith in future grace. Or being satisfied more satisfied, way more satisfied in all that God promises to be for us now and forever. That is the liberation for love. That's the pathway to holiness. That's where the battle is to be fought. When I think about my whole parenting role, my husbanding role, my pastoral role, my on the street witnessing role, the thing that that drives me most is what can I say that will accomplish the negative and the positive to make people tremble with the insecurity that this world offers and to help people see the magnificence of what has been bought by Jesus Christ for everlasting joy for all who will receive him that's the whole goal is how to help people see the superior pleasures you show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Fullness forever. Fullness forever. My whole life is devoted to trying to figure out ways to handle the Bible so that people will fall out of love with the world. I forget which old Puritan said it. The goal of a pastor is to put people's taste, their mouths, out of taste for the bait of Satan. It's not how do you get your jaw off the hook. That's important once you're there. The main goal of the ministry is don't let the bait be attractive. And how do you put people out of taste for the bait of the devil? And the answer is, spread a table that is superior. 